Here is the Facebook share price data in this uh, spreadsheet here. Uh, so these are the prices, $102.22 was the price on the 4th of January 2016 and so on. These are the prices for all of the subsequent days for each trading day in, in the year 2016. What we want to do is to create a, a time series plot or, or a line chart for, uh, for these figures here. So what I've done already, I've clicked on charts here. Okay, so charts and we'll insert a line chart like this and you'll see what Excel does when you when you do that is it kind of looks so I've put the, the when you put the cell here just next to these numbers it looks at, at what you're next to and interprets what's in the adjacent cells and it has decided uh, correctly in this case that the uh, data that we want to we, that we want to plot is called price and here are the price prices here and that what goes along the x-axis are the dates. You think down here, it's labelled those for us already. That's pretty nice. All we need to do is to tidy up that graph and we'll be done. So again, as we've done in some of the other cases, we'll move this chart to a new sheet. I'll call that um, FB price, let's say. And there it is there. Uh, what can we do to make this better? Well, we could probably edit the title, perhaps. Uh, oops that we can edit the title like this we can go uh, let's say Facebook um, share price in dollars like that uh, what else could we do we don't really need a legend here because there's only one line here so it's obvious what that line is if we um, if we label the title correctly so we'll just delete that uh, we don't need to delete these grid lines, but I'm going to anyway, so we'll right click on that and delete those as well. Uh, now the other thing that we can do in this case is to perhaps rescale this axis here. Uh, so you can see that a lot of the space on this graph is empty because the share price lives between, I don't know, what is that, about 90, 90 and 130, 35, something like that. Uh, so in this case, this is not always a legitimate thing to do, but in this case it's a reasonable thing to do to select this axis and we're going to, we'll change the minimum value of the axis to let's say 80. So I've just clicked on the axis, left, normal click, left clicked on the axis, now I'm going to right click on the axis that will allow me to format the axis. So I change some of the options to do with that axis. And what that, just bring some here, what that calls up is these various options and in particular we're going to look at the scale and change the minimum value here from zero, we'll call that 80, let's say. And you can kind of see that that's already made the, the change behind there, so you can have a look and see if you like the result. And I think that looks better in this case, right? So we now just have the, uh, a better idea of the, the variations in the, in the share price over the year. Um, so that's our, our time series plot, I think we're happy with that.